Welcome to the Swansway Chester Stadium for the Blues' first three o'clock kickoff of the season. This is the second newly promoted team Chester have played in five days after drawing with AFC Fylde on Tuesday evening. Lucas Dawson got the goal that night, but the supporters were all talking about the build-up and specifically the involvement of Kingsley James, who plays against his former team today. Although, he insists it's just another game. Halifax Town came up through the playoffs last season with the man who scored the winner against Chorley in the lineup today, Scott Garner, starting his second season at the club. The visitors have one point from their first two games, but are yet to find a goal. John McCarthy compared Harry White to Alan Shearer after his buccaneering performance against Fylde in midweek. If he keeps putting in performances like that, the fans are sure to take to him. And it's the visitors, Halifax Town, who get us underway in the all-yellow strip. Playing into the sun and immediately playing the ball along to their six-foot-seven striker, Tom Denton. Easily identifiable as a target man. If anything can happen as Temple puts that towards the back post, towards Assels up in the air as McComb helps out and Hannah gets a poke at it and Hannah claims it took a deflection as it fell kindly for the for the Chester centre forward making his first start in his second spell at the club. Paul Temple taking into account where his target men are and how strong the wind is as he puts that back post towards Kingsley James who gets his head to it. And it's the uh, Chester number four and the former Halifax man who got there but he couldn't direct it towards the goal how he would have loved to have scored there. And it's a bit of a different kind of technique you need from this position. Well, you've got six foot seven Denton in the wall and six foot six Dixon. It's a big wall to get it over. Hannah does though. He also gets it over the crossbar. Well, another 45 minutes to find a goal in this fixture. White beating in the air by. The Halifax captain, Ross Hannes Bennett, is run. He's onside. He's got Josh Wilde in front of him. He's got Dawson screaming for it, but Wilde instead goes for the overlapping fullback. There's the shot on oh, across the face of goal. It was Andy Halls who was there arriving. He's only scored one goal last season in his 37 appearances, and that was here against Chester, would you believe it, for Macclesfield Town. Hannah spreads it across, looking for, I think it was either James or Turnbull. Either way, it didn't come off. And McDonald to get his first touch up against Roterna. He's got the pace to get away from Roterna. He continues into the area and he's chipped it up. Mitchell flapped it in. It's cleared away by Andy Halls. Mitchell uncertain there. I think he got a hand to it as it hit the crossbar and it was then cleared by the right back Halls. But that's the closest we've came to a goal so far. Good run in here from McManus. And Scott McManus plays it out wide to Josh Wilde, who seems to have recovered after that. Little tussle with Harry White. Bowen Dixon. Through the middle. He's managed to find Nathan Hot. Gets away from Assels. Still hot. Off his line quickly. Connor Mitchell. Good goalkeeping from the man alone from Burnley. Made himself big. Garner beats Hannah to it. Lofted over the top, looking for the runner back in Tunde, and the defenders made a meal of it. Back in Tunde, Ross Hanna, back to back in Tunde. Oh, great save by Sam Johnson! High fives all around for the goalkeeper side from Port Vale, as that certainly would have won it for the Blues. And the chance to go long doesn't happen as the final whistle blows. No goals at all here today. The final score is Chester nil, Halifax Town nil.